Hi, I'm Lisa from asewinglife.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this little heart keyring. It's made with tiny little scraps and it's very, very cute. So to make this keyring, all that you need are scrap pieces of fabric. Now they are tiny, so you get to use up all your really small little pieces of scrap and you just need a piece of interlining and a small piece of felt as well. So for the template, all I'm going to do is I've folded a piece of paper in half and I'm going to freehand draw a heart. Um, bear in mind, whatever size you want the heart to be, you're then going to need to add on like another centimetre because this is going to be turned inside out. So that's the shape of my heart. And then I am going to cut it out around there so it's about a centimetre well that's about seven millimetres and that's going to be my template so I'm going to use this template now to cut out of four separate things so the first is the front piece which is going to be the patchwork um, using these scraps so I've got three fabrics there the back is going to be using this denim and then I'm also going to use a piece of white felt and this is going to be to give it a bit of stability because I don't want it to be too floppy when it's on the key ring and then also a piece of interlining as well, interfacing. Um, so there's going to be four pieces that will be sandwiched together. I've cut out strips of fabric of the three fabrics um, that I'm going to use, and they're about two, three centimetres wide. And what I'm going to do is have them on a diagonal going across the heart shape. So I'm going to start sewing them together. By the time they're sewn together, they're probably only going to be about one centimetre wide. So it will be quite nice to have nice thin strips because it's only a small item. I've laid the pieces out in facing the direction that I want them to face and in the, the order that I want them to go. So that will probably be about the right amount once I've lost the seam allowances. So there's my template. I'm going to take the first two pieces, put them together, right sides together, and then sew across the top line there. The first two pieces, and then I'm just gonna carry on. So next piece will go onto the blue, right sides together, sew that all the way down. Next piece, okay, and then that will just keep going. So this looks like it's probably big enough, so I'm just going to do a double check, sit it on the diagonal and put the template on and yes, it's definitely big enough. So what I'm going to do now is take this across to the iron and iron these seams open flat. So, so working with these um, little items can be quite tricky. So a little tip is before you take it to the, the iron to um, try and iron them out, just use your finger to flatten it out. And what you'll find is if you do it with your finger first, when you then take it over to the iron, it's just a bit easier because you've already opened the seams out and it just makes it a bit simpler. So now that it's ironed front and back, it's much easier to work with because it's nice and flat. So put the template on top of the fabric, make sure the fabric is going in exactly the right direction that you want it to go, place it where you want it to be and pin it in place. The reason for this is that it's a shape that might move around a lot and move out of place. So once you've pinned it, what you're gonna do is cut it to shape. So just use your big scissors and cut all the way around. Oh, that looks lovely. So now we've got four pieces which are all exactly the same size. Um, we've got the front piece for um, with the patchwork on, there's the interfacing, there's the white felt and then there's the back piece. So take the patchwork side and on the wrong side iron the interfacing on there. Make sure
So we're going to create a little hanging loop so that the um, the heart can attach to the key ring. So take a piece of fabric. Um, I've used one of the fabrics that I've used from within the patchwork and cut a strip that was three centimeters by 14 centimeters. And then what you need to do is just press in about five, six millimeters onto the wrong side of both sides. Okay. And then you're simply going to press those two pieces together and then sew all the way down there to create a little tag. So now the tag gets folded in half and it's going to be attached to the heart there upside down. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it in place at the top. But at the bottom, inside, I'm actually going to put a pin in there because what I don't want is I don't want this getting caught when the bits are being sewn together. So I'm just going to literally clip it inside like that so that it doesn't get caught and sewn into the rest of the things. And then it can just be taken off when it's finished. OK, so now that interfacing is on it's just giving that front piece a little bit more stability so what we're going to do now is put the two right sides together so that's our front and the denim is our back so we want those two right sides together but we also want to put the felt inside so i'm going to put the felt on top there and these can be pinned together and then taken to the sew machine and sew all around the edge but leave about six centimeter gap so i'm now just i'm going to go around and just trim the edges to make sure that all of the fabric is as close to the line as it can so just the line of stitching as it can but what i'm also going to do is i'm also going to round the curves cut notches so that when it's turned inside out the fabric will be able to sit flat if you don't do that on these curved surfaces it won't sit flat so all around i'll go all around there and then also i need to just cut down as about two or three millimeters away from there otherwise that won't sit flat either and then cut off the point at the end so now we're going to turn this inside out just okay what we need to do now is we're going to sew top stitch all around the outside edge turning these bits here underneath so that everything is turned underneath so two three millimeters away from the top edge so all the way around so what i've actually done is because i've got um white sort of colors on top and dark on the bottom i've put two different colors in my sewing machine so i've got my top is a white thread and then the bottom is a navy now this next stage is optional but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to top stitch along these lines just to emphasize the different fabrics so you don't have to but it just um, I just quite like the idea of it being sort of feeling a bit more quilted so I just think that that gives it a really nice little extra quilted feel on both of the sides um, like I say optional purely optional and so now what we need to do is add this to a key ring so I've got this key ring um, it's quite a nice chunky key ring and what I need to do is thread this onto here pull it all the way around and there we go a really cute little heart key ring made with scraps so i hope that you really enjoyed making your key ring and that it looks super cute and you're going to be able to use it so thank you for spending your time with me today and there are lots of other projects to do if you want to hop on over to one of the next projects and i look forward to seeing you there have a great day bye